Can you really just have one Oreo? The answer is no. I'm gonna say this is probably the number one thing that helped me. Hey guys, today is going to be just a little bit different. Huge disclaimer, no, I am not a nutritionist. I am not a fitness trainer. I am probably the last person who's gonna give you any kind of fitness advice. All I can tell you is that this is a personal experience. This is just coming from somebody who's tried to lose weight for I cannot even tell you how long and I finally figured it out. Okay. Let's get started. I'm gonna actually divide this into a few parts. The first part is going to be exactly how I dropped the weight. What did I do? What are the things that I practiced? And these are gonna be the foundations that you need. The second thing is gonna be my rules. All the things that I followed, all the things that I promised myself that I would not break, and these really helped me stay on track. What helped me mentally? Mentality is literally half the battle. So the first thing that I did is the first thing that everybody does to lose weight because it is the only way to lose weight, a calorie deficit. So. Literally losing weight is math. No wonder I've been so bad at losing weight because I am so bad at math. All you need to do is make sure that you're burning more calories than you're consuming. So just make sure that your overall calories that you're burning is going to be a lot more than the calories that you're eating. It's literally an equation. Who would have thunk it? Counted calories. Now, before you click off, just temporarily. Like, I don't even count calories now. The reason I counted calories and the reason I suggest it is because it is so important to see what you're putting in your body. Literally, before I would go and pour a giant bowl of Fruity Pebbles, not realizing, guys, I was eating like 500 calories just there. So just understand what you're putting in your body, how much of it you're eating, and that's half the battle. I was active at least three times a week. Listen, I am right there with you. I literally hate the gym. I hate working out. So what I did was I just did something that I enjoy. For me, obviously, no shocker to you guys, it's involved being social with other people. So I got myself into a fitness class where I'm there three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Maybe for you, that means getting a trainer. Walk your dog more, park your car further away at the mall so that way you're walking a lot further and getting in more steps. Lift weights if that's what you like, do cardio, take a dance class. Just literally do anything a few times a week that gets you super active. So the next thing was a huge factor into my weight loss and I literally did not restrict the foods that I eat. So what I mean is, I did eat really healthy, you know, fresh fruits and veggies, but if I ever did eat anything that wasn't considered healthy, then I would just not eat so much of it. Like for example, if I go to dinner with my friends, which I actually did recently, I got a chicken tender platter because I'm literally three. I ate half of it for lunch and then half of it for dinner. Literally don't restrict the foods that you love so much. Just don't go crazy and literally bury yourself in a pile of donut. I know we want to, I'm right there with you. Water, 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 water. Think about it, if you have a plant and you don't give it water, you don't put it in the sun, guess what's gonna happen? It's not gonna look too hot. It's the same thing with you, babes. Next thing is huge. You're going to mess up. You are going to eat booze, booze, what? I looked at my calories weekly, so seven days out of the week. If I eat really bad on one or two of those days, all I would do is focus really well on the other day. Don't think just because you mess up a few times a week that it is over, it's ruined, your body is going to hate you. That is not the case. Just make sure that you get back on track. If you do more good throughout the week then you do bad I know you're gonna see results all right guys so now we're gonna step into the second part which is my rules what I followed what I promised myself and what I made a commitment to so one of my first rules was I tried to weigh myself a few times a week if not once a week now I do this just to make sure that I'm keeping myself on track but it is so important to remember that your scale is measuring all kinds of things. Are you on your period? Are you cramping? Are you holding water weight? So when you look at a scale number and you see that it went up four pounds in like three days, do not freak out. So what I did in conjunction with weighing myself was I also took measurements, I took before and afters, and then I just used my eyes to analyze myself in the mornings. That's when I'm the most snatched. What are some differences? What do I see that's changed? Another way to measure this is also trying on clothes that you haven't worn in a while. Honestly, it's just a huge motivation for me Another rule I promise myself, no shortcuts, no juicing diets, no detox diets, no diet pills, all of that stuff is just temporary. You're gonna gain it all back. What I did was I focused on how to do this the long haul way and how to do this the right way and the healthy way. I almost felt like I trained my body to like understand, okay, I'm losing weight, slowly doing it healthy, now we can stay at a weight. And honestly, it's actually really easy for me to maintain my new weight. Hal and I made a rule in our house that we do not have any bad foods. So any of like the junk foods, the really high in sugar foods, things like that. 
basically our rule was if we cannot have more than the serving size or more than like a, a normal amount, then we're not gonna keep it in the house. For example, can you really just have one Oreo? The answer is no. This is what I do instead. If I still wanna treat, what I do is I get single serving foods. For example, if I'm really craving a sweet, I'll get a Reese's. That's two cups, bada bing, bada boom. How many times have you gave in because you had ice cream, you had cookies and cakes laying around? It's almost like an out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. The next rule was I tried to meal prep. If I was super lazy and didn't feel like cooking, if I know that I have healthy foods ready for me right there, I'm so much more likely to grab that than something that is not that great for me. All right, babe, so the last few things that helped me a ton was everything that helped me mentally. These are the things that I kept repeating to myself in my head. I promise you it'll help you too. I'm gonna say this is probably the number one thing that helped me. I shifted my mindset in, in my relationship with food. I no longer look at food as only enjoyment. Yes, it is so important to eat foods that you love and that give you endorphins and make you happy. Of course, I'm a foodie. I'm always gonna be like that. But I also try to view food as more than that and also fuel. What are you doing to take care of your body? What are you giving it to be healthy and strong? So I'm about to tell you guys a few mottos and quotes that really helped me. One of the first things that I always told myself was nothing tastes better than confidence. Another thing I told myself if I could not stop thinking about donuts was temporary satisfaction is not worth the long-term effects. People ask me all the time, Summer, what's your workout routine? What's your diet? I'm gonna tell you what the best one is. Are you ready? The best diet and workout routine for you is going to be the one that you stick to. So whatever is sustainable is what you need to do. If for you, if that's walking your dog for a little bit longer throughout the week, do it. That's great. The last thing I want you guys to remember is dieting, losing weight, taking care of yourself. Guys, this is something that I want you guys to get in for the long haul. But I really keep telling myself that all of this that I'm doing is just for my overall health from now until the day I meet Jesus. I mean, I want to be as healthy, as strong as I can, and in return, it's gonna help me with my confidence, my mental health, and it just makes you feel better. If you have any questions, definitely hit me up in the comments. Also, I answer every single DM. Follow me on Instagram. I love chatting with you guys. If you're not already subscribed, hit that button. Make sure that you turn on your post notifications because YouTube has not been pushing out my content lately, but I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.